Tonight, we want to say that Anthropic might be leading with Claude Opus 4.5, but Google is not done yet. A few days ago, the tech giant quietly dropped a research paper that might define the next decade of AI and almost nobody noticed. While the world was debating benchmarks, compute and who's winning the AI race, Google Research published a paper called Nested Learning. And if you understand what this paper claims, you will realize something very simple. This is Attention is All You Need Part 2, a foundational rewrite of how AI learns. Every LLM today, GPT, Gemini, Claude and DeepSeek suffers from the same defect. They can't learn continuously. They can use context, they can predict next tokens, they can perform reasoning but they cannot update their own understanding without breaking what they already learned. And before we talk about the why, please hit like, share it ahead and subscribe to AIM Network because the next story that actually changes everything will show up right here first. And now back to the why. LLMs forget new information, fine tuning destroys old skill models don't grow after deployment and every update costs millions of dollars. Humans don't work like this. We learn, consolidate and retain simultaneously. AI can't and that's the core breakthrough Google claims to solve. Google says deep learning has been based on the wrong assumption. Stacking more layers does not equal more intelligence, end quote. Nested learning paper, instead, they propose that every neural network from transformers to RNNs is actually a system of nested optimization problems, each with its own memory and update frequency. The meaning, a neural network is in one model. It's actually a hierarchy of learners, all active at different timescales, just like the human brain. This pretty much changes everything because if optimizers, layers, memory modules are all learning systems, then models can well in theory learn during inference without catastrophic forgetting. That's the holy grail of AI. Optimizers like Adam equals memory systems. The paper says optimizers are associative memory modules that compress knowledge into the model itself, meaning your optimizer has been secretly learning all along. We just didn't treat it as a learner. So in context learning emerges naturally nested learning, which explains why large models suddenly gained in context learning without being trained for it. It's actually a side effect of internal sub learners running at different speeds. Deep learning and training are not separate. The paper argues architecture training, memory are all the same system, just at different levels. That's exactly how human memory works. Fast learning, hippocampus. Slow learning, cortex. Multi-time scale consolidation. Nested learning mirrors this exact structure. To prove the idea, Google built a model called HOPE. And it does two things no mainstream AI arch architecture can. It modifies its own parameters at test time, not fine-tuning, not adapters, not RL. The model learns from the data as you use it without forgetting old tasks. It has a continuum memory system instead of long-term versus short-term memory. Hope has memory layers that update at different speeds. The result? Well, HOPE outperforms transformers and modern RNNs across multiple standard benchmarks with better long context memory, better continual learning and better stability. This is the closest we've come to a self-improving AI architecture. So, what this means for the future? Here it is. This paper is Google saying Scaling transformers will hit a ceiling. The next breakthrough won't come 
from bigger models, but smarter learners, end quote. If nested learning works at frontier scale, LLMs won't need retraining cycles. Models will keep improving during usage. AI assistants will learn you like a real human teacher. Memory fragmentation will vanish. Catastrophic forgetting becomes obsolete and the entire compute economy changes because retraining becomes unnecessary. This is a shift from models that predict to models that learn from static AI to dynamic AI. Of course, we'd love for you to tell us what you think in the comments below. Is nested learning the first real crack in the just scale it era or just another cute optimization paper that looks great in theory but dies at production scale? So out there, you've got people calling this the start of the post-transformer era. Others joking, one more banger paper a day keeps my mental health away. Some saying this is how the brain really works and a whole camp going, nice idea, call me when it runs at frontier scale. So the question is, where do you stand? Game changer, promising, but unproven deep learning remix and nothing more maybe drop your take quote your favorite line roast it defend it you know what's interesting about front page we're actually reading everything live and if you enjoyed this breakdown please share it with that friend who fills whiteboards with architectures the researcher who swears they thought of this last weekend or the engineer hacking LoRa's at 2 a.m. Because understanding ideas like this before they go mainstream is exactly how someone somewhere ends up building the next chat GPT moment product.